Five things you should never tell any girl, high-value men must know. Stoic life lessons. Words are like keys. If you choose them right, they can open any heart and mind. In today's video, we're diving into five crucial things you should never say to any woman if you want to maintain your strength, confidence and control. These aren't just casual mistakes. They can be game changers in how women perceive and respect you. So, what are these five things? Watch until the end to protect your power and elevate your relationships. Do you agree that words hold this much influence? Comment below and let's get a conversation going. Section 1. Don't reveal your weaknesses early on. Let's get straight to it. What separates high-value men from the rest? It's the mastery of their emotions and the understanding of timing when revealing parts of themselves. Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. This philosophy is especially relevant when it comes to dating and relationships. The first of the five things you should never tell a woman is about your weaknesses, and the reason is simple. Timing is everything. In the early stages of getting to know someone, perception is what drives attraction. Women are instinctively drawn to men who radiate confidence and control. These are qualities that signal strength, stability and reliability. All traits that women associate with leadership, which is attractive. High-value men don't rush to disclose their struggles. Instead, they lead with their strengths, establishing themselves as emotionally self-sufficient and capable of handling life's challenges without crumbling under pressure. Now you might be thinking, isn't vulnerability a sign of trust? Yes, but only when it's revealed at the right time. Early on, exposing your weaknesses too soon can shake the foundation of her perception of you. When you open up too quickly, you risk altering the power dynamic, creating a situation where she starts questioning your ability to lead yourself and, by extension, her. Relationships should be partnerships built on mutual respect, and in the beginning, that respect is formed by how you present yourself. High-value men practice stoic life lessons by first showcasing their emotional resilience. What is stoicism, if not the ability to maintain composure under pressure? When you reveal too much, too soon, you're not just opening up. You're asking her to emotionally carry your burdens, which can shift her role from partner to caretaker. It's not that you should never show vulnerability, but it's about doing it when the relationship is mature enough to handle it. Think of your emotional fortitude like a fortress. As Epictetus taught, no man is free who is not master of himself. A fortress doesn't open its gates at the first sign of connection. It waits until it's confident that doing so won't lead to harm. This is what stoic life lessons are about, strategically choosing when to reveal your vulnerabilities, and only after you've proven that you can handle the hardships of life without leaning on anyone else too heavily. By maintaining this balance, you avoid becoming dependent on her for emotional validation, which keeps the dynamic of the relationship healthy and equal. Modern life can be filled with emotional roller coasters, but high-value men are those who manage their internal world before sharing it with others. When you approach a relationship with this mindset, not only do you command respect, but you keep her intrigued and invested in learning more about you. She will admire your strength and patience, and when the time comes to show vulnerability, it will be seen as a mark of trust rather than a sign of weakness. In today's fast-paced, emotionally turbulent world, understanding and applying stoicism in relationships is more crucial than ever. 
Mastering the art of timing when it comes to sharing your struggles is one of the most powerful tools a man can have. This allows you to maintain respect, protect your emotional boundaries, and ensure that the relationship grows on solid ground. Remember, high-value men aren't afraid to show vulnerability, but they do so with purpose, timing, and intention. Practicing stoic life lessons to ensure their emotional strength remains intact while still allowing their partner to see their deeper layers when the time is right. Comment I agree if you resonate with this perspective or I don't think so if you have a different opinion. Section 2 Don't Confess Your Insecurities one of the biggest mistakes you can make as a high-value man is confessing your insecurities too soon or too often. We all have moments of doubt, fears that linger in the back of our minds, but what truly separates a man of strength from the rest is how he chooses to handle those insecurities. Stoic happiness and inner peace aren't about ignoring your vulnerabilities, they're about facing them without turning them into a source of weakness in your relationships. Think about it this way. If you're following a leader who constantly expresses doubt about their own ability to lead, how much confidence would you have in them when things get tough? Not much, right? The same applies to your relationships. When you openly reveal your insecurities to a woman, especially early on, it shifts the way she views you. Instead of being seen as confident and in control, you risk coming across as unstable, which diminishes her trust in you. Now, this doesn't mean you should pretend to be some emotionless rock that never feels uncertain far from it. It's about knowing when and how to show vulnerability. In the early stages of a relationship, it's important to establish yourself as someone who is secure and composed. Think of it as building a foundation. You wouldn't start constructing a house on shaky ground, would you? The same applies to trust and attraction. Women are naturally drawn to confidence, and that confidence is tested when you begin to confess self-doubt. Instead of inviting her to trust your leadership, you're signaling that you don't even trust yourself. And no one can feel safe in a relationship where the emotional ground feels uneven. You may be thinking, well, aren't relationships about sharing everything? Sure, to some extent, yes, but not all at once and not before the foundation is rock solid. Women don't want to be your emotional caretaker, at least not in the way you might think. They seek a man who is emotionally stable and can handle his issues without falling apart or constantly needing reassurance. When you confess too many of your insecurities, you're effectively handing over your emotional power. She might not consciously realize it, but she will start seeing you less as a pillar of strength and more as someone who needs to be fixed or saved. That's a dynamic that kills attraction faster than you think. The reality is that high-value men work on their insecurities behind the scenes. They don't broadcast them for sympathy or reassurance. They take action to overcome them. This is a core principle of Stoicism today, learning to manage your emotions and build resilience on your own. It's not about hiding who you are, but about strengthening yourself to the point where your insecurities no longer control you. There's a quiet power in confronting your self-doubt privately and growing from it without needing external validation. By doing so, you become someone who is genuinely in control of his own mind. And that's what keeps a woman deeply attracted. In modern life, imagine you're a businessman who's built an impressive career but still deals with occasional doubts about his ability to maintain success. Instead of confessing these insecurities to your partner every time you feel them, you tackle them head-on, maybe by learning new skills, adapting to changes in the market, or seeking mentorship. 
This proactive approach not only improves your situation, but also strengthens how you're perceived by others. You've shown resilience not by pretending to be perfect, but by actively working on your shortcomings. Now ask yourself, what kind of man do you want to be in her eyes? The one who crumbles under pressure, or the one who quietly overcomes his flaws and becomes stronger? The lesson here is simple. Stoic happiness is about mastering your inner world, so you can project strength and stability in the outer world. Don't make the mistake of thinking that sharing all your insecurities will make you closer. Instead, work through those insecurities, grow from them, and show her through your actions, not your words, that you are a man of real value. That's how you build lasting attraction, trust, and respect. If this resonates with you, comment below with growth so we can continue this journey together. E Section 3. Don't reveal past failures. Too soon. When it comes to relationships, particularly in the early stages, it's crucial to be mindful of how and when you share certain aspects of your life. One thing high-value men must always remember, don't reveal your past failures too soon. We all have a past filled with mistakes and setbacks. But how you manage and communicate those experiences defines you more than the failures themselves. The Stoic mindset teaches us to control what we can and accept what we cannot. And when it comes to relationships, this principle becomes invaluable. Bringing up your past mistakes early on could paint a picture of someone who hasn't fully overcome those setbacks, and as a result, you might come across as less competent or capable. Women, just like anyone else, are naturally drawn to success and confidence, so if your early conversations focus on everything that went wrong in your past, you risk overshadowing the man you've become with the man you used to be. But it's not about hiding your failures forever. Rather, it's about knowing the right time and way to share them. When you're still in the early stages of a relationship, it's vital to highlight your strengths, successes and potential. Think about it. How often do people make judgments based on first impressions? It's human nature to form opinions quickly, so why not ensure that the first impression you leave is one of strength and confidence, not of someone weighed down by their past? As Epictetus once said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. This rings especially true when it comes to how you frame your life story. Your failures were lessons, not labels, and as a high-value man with a win-stoic mentality, you understand that every mistake is a stepping stone towards success. Here's something to reflect on. Why would you let your past define you when your present and future are so much brighter? Women want to be with men who are forward-thinking, men who have learned from their past but aren't stuck there. By focusing too much on your failures, you might inadvertently signal that you're still emotionally tied to them. Instead, show her that you've moved on, grown, and are now stronger than ever. When the time comes to discuss your failures, don't present them as regrets, but as experiences that have shaped you into the resilient and confident man you are today. This is the essence of stoic life lessons, embracing what has happened, learning from it, but never letting it define your current self. By sharing your journey at the right time and in the right way, you shift the narrative. High-value men take ownership of their failures, but they don't dwell on them or use them as an excuse. Instead, they show that those challenges were necessary to fuel their growth and success. Picture this. When you eventually open up about your past, you're framing those failures as part of a bigger success story of yours. The key is balance. Just as Marcus Aurelius reminded us, the impediment to action advances action, 
What stands in the way becomes the way. Your past challenges have shaped your path, but they are not the destination. Think about it. How do you want to be remembered? As someone stuck in the shadows of their past mistakes, or as someone who rose above them? By exercising restraint and timing in revealing your past, you give the woman you're interested in the chance to know the high-value man standing in front of her today, not the man you were when you made those mistakes. This is what stoic men do. They manage their story in a way that highlights their growth, strength, and forward-thinking mindset. So, ask yourself, are you leading with your strengths or allowing your failures to overshadow your true potential? Section 4. Never discuss your financial struggles. When it comes to building and maintaining a strong relationship, there are certain things that a high-value man should never reveal too soon, and financial struggles top that list. In the world of stoic life lessons, the way you present yourself, especially when it comes to money, has a significant impact on how you're perceived, not just by women, but by everyone around you. While it may seem honest or vulnerable to open up about your financial difficulties, doing so can unintentionally diminish the level of respect and admiration a woman has for you. In modern life, Financial security still plays a major role in relationships, but it's not just about material wealth. It's about the sense of stability, control, and leadership you project. Marcus Aurelius once said, You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. The same applies to your financial life. You may not have control over every financial challenge that comes your way, but you always have control over how you respond to it. Instead of framing your financial situation as a struggle, you should frame it as an opportunity, a stepping stone towards something greater. This mindset shift not only preserves your value in the eyes of others, but also reinforces your own sense of resilience and confidence, which are key traits in Stoicism. What is Stoicism, after all, if not the practice of turning challenges into chances for growth? Revealing financial struggles, especially early in a relationship, can inadvertently send the message that you're not fully in control of your life. For most women, financial stability represents more than just a comfortable lifestyle. It signals emotional security and a reliable future. Women aren't being shallow when they seek partners who display stability. They're following an instinctual need for survival and security, which is deeply rooted in human nature. When you show signs of financial instability, even if you're working hard to overcome it, it can raise concerns about your ability to handle the future's inevitable challenges. As a high-value man who follows stoic life lessons, you need to embody strength, control, and an unwavering sense of purpose. This doesn't mean you need to be a millionaire overnight, but it does mean you should project competence over your financial life, no matter where you currently stand. The language you use when discussing your financial status should reflect optimism and resilience. You're not just surviving. You're thriving with a plan to grow. When you complain about your financial problems, you give away your power. Instead, talk about your goals, your progress, and the actions you're taking to improve your situation. You're not defined by the challenges you're facing, but by how you rise above them. Discussing financial struggles too early can also create an unbalanced dynamic in the relationship. If she senses that you're depending on her financially or emotionally due to your financial stress, it can shift the power balance in an unfavorable way. A high-value man leads in his life and his relationships, and any hint of financial instability can introduce doubts about your ability to steer the ship. Women are naturally drawn to men who are confident in their abilities 
and determined to navigate life's obstacles without being derailed by temporary setbacks. It's crucial to keep conversations about money focused on the positive and to maintain an aura of control over your finances. The less you share about your financial struggles, the more you preserve your image as a capable and confident man. A high-value man doesn't complain about his finances. He takes action and stays focused on his goals. When the time comes to discuss finances in a more serious context, do so with humility and foresight. Let her see that while you might not have reached the pinnacle of financial success yet, you're on your way and that you have the mindset and strategy to get there. By maintaining this sense of quiet strength, you command respect and admiration while keeping the relationship grounded in trust and ambition. In essence, what is Stoicism, if not the ability to endure hardship without losing sight of your higher goals? And by keeping this principle in mind, you not only elevate your own life, but also enrich the relationships around you. If you find these insights helpful, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue to explore the profound influence of Stoicism together. Section 5. Don't tell her your exact plans for the future. As a man driven by ambition, you're constantly thinking several steps ahead, always plotting your next move. But here's a critical piece of advice. Never, under any circumstance, reveal your exact plans for the future, especially early in a relationship. You might think sharing your goals and vision for the future will impress her, make her see how serious and capable you are. But in reality, what you're doing is stripping away an essential element of attraction. When you share too much, you take away the intrigue that keeps her engaged and curious about you. Women, just like anyone, love a good mystery. When she doesn't know exactly what you're thinking or what your next step is, it keeps her invested. Her thoughts will return to you more often because she's left wondering, what's he up to? What will he do next? This spark of curiosity keeps the relationship alive. The truth is, women naturally want to figure you out, and that process is part of what keeps them attracted. However, once you lay out every single detail of your future plans, that mystery vanishes. Suddenly, she knows exactly what to expect, and your unpredictability, the very thing that drew her to you in the first place, disappears. Instead of being the man who challenges her mind, you risk becoming just another guy who is easy to figure out. Let's think about it another way. Imagine you're playing a high-stakes game of chess, and your opponent already knows your next move. You've lost the element of surprise, and with it, much of your power. Just like a chess grandmaster keeps his moves hidden until the right moment, a high-value man keeps his plans close to his chest. Not because he's secretive, but because he understands the value of maintaining control and the art of living strategically. If you lay out your future plans too early or too completely, you're giving someone the power to influence or judge your decisions before you've even had the chance to execute them. And that's the last thing a stoic man striving for happiness should do. Look at it this way. If you're building an empire, do you announce your strategy to the world before you've secured your foundation? Of course not. Revealing your plans too soon opens you up to unnecessary criticism, doubts, and in some cases, manipulation. When you hold back some details, you keep yourself flexible and free to change course if needed, without being tied down by anyone's expectations or opinions. You preserve your autonomy, which is essential for living with true confidence and stoic happiness. Here's a story to make this real. A friend of mine, a successful entrepreneur, once shared every detail of his business expansion plans with a woman he was seeing. At first, she seemed impressed, 
but over time she started questioning his decisions, suggesting changes, and even doubting his vision. What began as admiration turned into subtle control, and before he knew it, he felt burdened by her input, even though she had no experience in his field. Eventually he realized that by oversharing, he had given her power over his direction. Had he kept his plans to himself, he would have retained his freedom to adapt, adjust, and surprise her and himself. So, ask yourself this. Do you want to live by someone else's roadmap, or do you want to chart your own path, fueled by your inner drive and wisdom? By keeping your plans to yourself, you maintain the ability to pivot, to grow, and to remain the unpredictable high-value man who doesn't need validation from others to pursue his goals. In Stoicism today, the essence of true power lies in self-reliance and the strength to navigate life without external approval. High-value men don't seek validation. They create their own path, walking confidently toward their goals with the serenity that comes from knowing they're in control of their destiny. In this video, we explored five critical things a high-value man should never reveal to any girl, emphasizing the importance of maintaining mystery and control over your plans. By withholding certain details about your future, you keep the relationship dynamic, challenging, and intriguing. This isn't about playing games, it's about protecting your autonomy and ensuring you remain in control of your own path. Now, it's time to reflect on how you can apply these principles to your daily interactions. Are there moments where you've shared too much and wished you hadn't? Share your experiences in the comments below, and let's grow together on this journey to becoming stronger, more self-assured men. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more life-changing Stoic lessons from Win Stoic. 13 Biggest Lies Women Tell That You Should Never Fall For Eye-Opening Truths High-Value Men Must Know The truth will set you free, but first, it will make you miserable. This quote couldn't be more true, especially when it comes to navigating the world of relationships. Welcome back to Win Stoic. Today we're diving into some eye-opening truths every high-value man must know. The three biggest lies women tell that you should never fall for. These are the kinds of deceptions that can cost you more than just your time. They can drain your energy, your confidence, and your peace of mind. But here's the good news. Once you see through them, you'll never fall for the same tricks again. What's been your biggest relationship lesson so far? Drop your thoughts in the comments and let's get this discussion going. Deception 1 the too busy excuse. The first deception we need to tackle is the classic too busy excuse. You send her a message and after what feels like an eternity, you get a lukewarm response. Sorry, I've been so busy. This is a line that many of us have heard before and it can leave you feeling confused or even questioning yourself. But here's the truth. When someone genuinely values you, they find the time, no matter how chaotic their schedule might be. Let's be real, life is busy for everyone. But high-value men understand that interest equals effort. If she's consistently giving you the too busy excuse, chances are you're not a priority. Think about it. Even the busiest people those with demanding careers or family obligations will carve out moments to engage with someone they care about. I knew a guy who always made excuses for a woman who rarely responded to his messages on time. He thought she was just preoccupied with her work. What he didn't realize was that she had other men on the side, stringing him along while keeping her options open. Don't allow yourself to fall for these excuses. Stoic life lessons teach us that we must not let external circumstances dictate our value. 
If she's leaving you hanging, it's not a reflection of your worth, but rather a sign that you should walk away. By embracing the core principle of what is Stoicism, accepting only what is within our control, you empower yourself to move forward with dignity, instead of waiting for breadcrumbs of attention. In today's fast-paced world, we often excuse people's lack of communication as just the way things are. But this is a trap that leads to undervaluing ourselves. High-value men don't chase those who don't reciprocate effort. In fact, one of the most valuable Stoic life lessons is to focus on where your energy is appreciated. If she's making excuses, take that as a signal to direct your time and energy elsewhere. Life is too short to invest in people who don't prioritize you, and the wisdom of the Stoics reminds us that we are only responsible for our own actions and thoughts, not the unpredictable behavior of others. This shift in mindset will save you countless hours of frustration and help you find someone who truly values your presence. As Epictetus once said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. So, how will you react? Will you wait for someone to finally acknowledge you, or will you take action and surround yourself with people who see your worth from the start? Deception 2. The You're Too Good For Me line. When a woman tells you, you're too good for me, it might sound like a compliment, but don't be fooled. It's one of the biggest lies that can mess with your confidence if you're not careful, while you might initially think she's admiring your value, what she's really doing is softening the blow of rejection. It's like putting a nice bow on bad news deep down. She's not interested, but she doesn't want to come off as harsh. This statement often leaves guys questioning themselves, thinking they're somehow too much or too good, which can cause a spiral of self-doubt. You might even start wondering if you're the problem, trying to adjust or fix things about yourself when the real issue has nothing to do with you at all. The reality is, if someone truly values you, they'll find reasons to stay, not push you away. Now, here's the truth. Don't let these words get under your skin. You should never allow anyone to make you feel as if your worth is the reason for the rejection. Stoic happiness, the kind of peace that comes from within, is about not letting external opinions, especially false ones, sway your sense of self-worth. Stoicism today teaches us that our value doesn't fluctuate based on how others perceive us. To better understand this, think about how often people use phrases to make situations easier for themselves, not for you. A woman might say, you're too good for me, because she's uncomfortable with outright saying she's not interested. Or perhaps she's just avoiding the awkwardness of confrontation. But here's the question you need to ask yourself. Why would someone distance themselves from something or someone too good? Shouldn't they want to hold on to that? The contradiction is clear. This line is meant to confuse and deflect, not to build you up. Imagine this. Have you ever had a job interview where they said you were overqualified? It sounds like a compliment, but what it really means is you're not getting the job. They're just cushioning the blow. It's the same in relationships. Don't fall for the illusion. A person who wants to be with you will never use your qualities as an excuse to pull away. Let me tell you a story. There was this guy, Mark, who was dating someone he thought was amazing. After a few months, she hit him with the classic line, You're too good for me. You deserve better. Mark, being a smart guy, felt confused. He thought, If I'm so great, why wouldn't you want to stay? But instead of letting it crush his self-esteem, he remembered a key lesson from Stoicism. What others say is their business, not yours. He realized that she was projecting her own issues, her own discomfort, and her inability to match his level. 
so instead of chasing after her, he walked away with his dignity. He didn't beg, he didn't argue, and most importantly, he didn't let her words define his value. That's stoic happiness in action, living with self-assurance, without needing validation from others. So, here's the lesson for you. Never allow someone else's perception to define your worth. If someone tries to say you're too good for them, recognize it as a reflection of their own insecurities, not a measure of your value. Don't let these subtle rejections play with your confidence. Stay grounded in your own truth and remember that stoic happiness comes from within. The next time you hear that line, ask yourself, is this person really offering something meaningful or are they just trying to let me down easily? And most importantly, are you willing to walk away to preserve your self-respect? Because high-value men, those who truly embody stoicism today, know their worth and never settle for anything less than someone who recognizes it too. Share your experiences or simply type stoic happiness in the comments to let us know you're on this journey with us. Your insights are what keep this community thriving and together we can continue to explore how Stoicism today shapes our lives in meaningful ways. Deception 3. Looks don't matter to me. When a woman says, looks don't matter to me, you might be tempted to believe her, but let's be real for a moment. This is one of the biggest lies you'll hear. While it may sound comforting, deep down, the truth is that appearance, status, and success do matter. It's not about being shallow or materialistic. It's simply human nature. People, including women, are biologically wired to be attracted to those who stand out, who exude confidence, and who have the ability to provide stability. Think about it. How many times have you noticed that the people who rise to the top in any area of life, are often those who take care of themselves and work hard to achieve their goals. The same principle applies in relationships. Women are often subconsciously attracted to men who display traits of ambition, success, and the ability to protect and provide, whether emotionally or financially. You don't have to be a millionaire or have the looks of a Hollywood star, but you do need to show that you have drive, self-respect, and the determination to constantly improve yourself. As Epictetus said, first say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. The Stoic mindset is all about focusing on what you can control, and one of the things you can control is how you present yourself to the world. This is where high-value men, those who follow the principles of Win Stoic, shine. They don't fall for the comforting lie that appearance and status don't matter. Instead, they work on becoming the best version of themselves, both inside and out. Women may say one thing, but actions speak louder than words. If she says she doesn't care about looks, watch what she actually does. Is she consistently attracted to men who are well-groomed, successful and confident? The answer is likely yes. So, ask yourself, are you putting forth your best self, or are you falling for these comforting lies that hold you back? Building a stoic mindset means being brutally honest with yourself and understanding that while inner qualities like integrity and kindness are crucial, the external matters too. The truth is, women are naturally drawn to men who display signs of stability and success. It's about showing that you can handle life's challenges with grace and determination. Marcus Aurelius once said, The best revenge is not to be like your enemy. In this context, the enemy isn't another person. It's the version of you that settles for less, that buys into comforting lies instead of striving for more. You must become the kind of man who doesn't just talk about ambition, but lives it. High-value men understand this on a deep level. They know that the way they look, 
the success they achieve, and the energy they bring into the room directly affect how they're perceived. It's not about being vain. It's about taking control of your life and how others respond to you. Have you ever noticed how when you feel good about yourself, others are drawn to you? That's not a coincidence. It's the law of attraction in action, and it plays a huge role in both personal and professional success. Women are highly attuned to the energy you put out, and when you carry yourself with confidence backed by real achievements, they'll take notice. So, next time you hear the phrase, looks don't matter to me, take it with a grain of salt. Women, like all people, are drawn to what's exceptional. It's not about having everything figured out right now, but about consistently striving to be better. Can you honestly say that you're living up to your potential, or are you buying into the lie that none of this matters? Keep in mind, the Stoic mindset, especially the Win Stoic approach, teaches us to focus on what we can control our actions, our habits, and our personal growth. Don't let the lies hold you back from being the high-value man you're capable of becoming. If you find these insights helpful, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue to explore the profound influence of Stoicism together. Deception 4. It meant nothing, I still love you. Let me start with this. Trust, once broken, is like shattered glass. It can never truly be the same, no matter how much you try to piece it together. It meant nothing. I still love you. If these words ever come your way after discovering infidelity, I want you to stop and think. This statement is a lie so common and destructive that it's easy to fall for, especially when emotions are high and you're desperate to cling to the love you once had. But let's be clear. Cheating always carries a reason behind it, and it's never harmless. Whether it's rooted in dissatisfaction, boredom, or simply the thrill of the forbidden, there's always a cause. The mistake many men make is believing that it was just a one-time lapse in judgment. Marcus Aurelius, a great Stoic philosopher, reminds us, the happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. When you allow such a lie to linger in your mind, convincing yourself that the betrayal didn't mean much, you're letting those thoughts poison your well-being. Stoic life lessons teach us to face reality head-on, no matter how uncomfortable. What is Stoicism, if not a tool to help you build resilience in the face of hard truths? You deserve better than to live in a constant state of doubt wondering if she'll ever do it again. Trust, much like respect, is not something that should be handed out freely once it's been violated. Ask yourself, why are you trying so hard to restore a bond with someone who was willing to risk everything you've built together? Modern life often romanticizes forgiveness to the point where we feel obligated to give second chances. But the truth is, some lines, once crossed, should never be uncrossed. It's easy to say, well, maybe it was just a mistake, but a stoic man understands that self-worth is not negotiable. The moment you start compromising your standards for someone else's mistakes, you're losing yourself in the process. In today's world, many people find it easier to apologize than to change. They'll promise they love you, but love isn't just words, it's action, its loyalty, its integrity. And when someone steps outside those boundaries and cheats, they've already shown you who they truly are. As Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. The question isn't whether you can forgive, it's whether you should. You have to know when to walk away. When you hold on to someone who has betrayed your trust, you're also holding on to the pain that comes with it. You deserve peace, 
and holding on to that lie keeps you in a state of constant turmoil, preventing you from moving forward and finding someone who will truly value you. Stoic life lessons teach us to accept things as they are, not as we wish them to be. This lie, it meant nothing, I still love you, is a clear indicator that things are far from how they should be. Accept that betrayal for what it is, a fundamental breach of trust. What is Stoicism, if not a path to self-control, dignity, and clarity in relationships? In modern life, we are bombarded with the notion that love conquers all, but the truth is, love without trust is like a house built on sand, and it will crumble. Take this as a wake-up call. Know your worth, demand better, and understand that some relationships, no matter how much love there once was, are not worth saving if the foundation has been destroyed. In what ways can you elevate your presence to align more with who you truly are? Reflect on that and drop your thoughts in the comments below with the phrase, my style is unique. Your input could be the inspiration someone else needs to embrace their own path. Deception 5 I'm not ready for anything serious. Let me tell you something about that phrase. I'm not ready for anything serious. You've probably heard it before, and it feels like a soft letdown, right? But let's not sugarcoat it. This is more than just about timing. It's about interest level. If she met the right guy, the one who lights up her world and makes her heart skip, she wouldn't hesitate for a second to commit. She wouldn't be dragging her feet, making excuses, or claiming that she's too busy, or not in the right place emotionally. If you were the one, she'd rearrange her life to make it work. And I'm telling you this because I've seen too many guys get strung along for years, waiting for her to change her mind. They hold on, thinking that one day she'll finally be ready, only to watch her jump headfirst into a committed relationship with someone else, while they're left wondering what went wrong. You've got to be sharp and recognize the truth here. If she's not willing to be serious with you now, chances are she never will be. Here's a real-world example that might hit home. I once knew a guy who was stuck in this exact situation. He dated a woman for two years, constantly hearing that she wasn't ready for a serious relationship. They had fun, shared moments, and built memories. But when it came to the future, she always kept things vague. I need time, she'd say, or I'm not in the right headspace for a commitment. He believed her, convinced that one day she'd come around. Then one day, out of nowhere, she was in a committed relationship with another man. And guess what? They were engaged within six months. This isn't just his story, it's a pattern that happens far too often. The truth is, people make time for what matters to them. If someone truly values you and sees a future, they'll make it happen. No excuses, no delays. So, what does this mean for you? It's time to stop waiting for someone to magically change their feelings. You deserve someone who is fully invested in you, right here, right now. You deserve to be with someone who doesn't make you feel like you're waiting in line for a chance at their affection. If she's not willing to commit, she's not your person, and sticking around hoping things will change is only delaying your own chance at finding happiness. This is where stoic happiness comes into play. In stoicism today, it's about recognizing what's in your control and what isn't. You can't control her feelings, but you can control your response. You can choose to move on and find someone who values you fully. So ask yourself, why settle for someone who isn't ready for you when there's someone out there who will be? Remember, your time and energy are precious, and you shouldn't waste them waiting on someone who isn't sure about you. In Stoicism, the focus is on taking action for the things that truly matter. It's about living in alignment with your values, 
Not bending over backward for someone who doesn't see your worth. Don't let someone else's indecision determine your happiness. The next time you hear, I'm not ready for anything serious, think twice. Are you going to wait around for the possibility that she might be? Or are you going to take charge of your own life and seek out someone who's ready and excited to build a future with you? The choice is yours. But remember, stoic happiness comes from within, and sometimes that means walking away from what's holding you back. If you find these insights helpful, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue to explore the profound influence of Stoicism together. Deception 6. I've never felt like this before. Now, I want you to listen closely because what I'm about to tell you could change the way you see relationships forever. Have you ever heard the line, I've never felt like this before? Yeah, it's one of the biggest deceptions women use, and it's designed to make you feel like you're the one, like you're the special guy who finally got past her emotional walls. But here's the harsh truth. In many cases, it's just a tactic to keep you hooked, to make you feel unique, and keep you investing more time and energy into her. I've seen it used on multiple guys at the same time, with each one thinking he was the exception. It's a psychological game. And it works, because everyone wants to feel like they're different, like they're the one to unlock something deep inside. But if you step back for a second and analyze her actions through the lens of a stoic mindset, you'll see something clearly. Words are cheap. What truly matters is action. If her words aren't being backed up by her behavior, if she's not treating you with respect, honesty and real care, then those words are just empty noise. Marcus Aurelius once said, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. B1. High-value men, those who practice the principles of Win Stoic, don't fall for words alone, they look for evidence. Does she treat you in a way that aligns with those big statements she's making? Is her effort consistent with the praise she's showering you with? Or is it all just smoke and mirrors to keep you around until someone else comes along? It's important to understand that women, like anyone, can use words as a form of manipulation, whether knowingly or unknowingly. The goal is to keep you emotionally invested, to keep you chasing. And as someone who is mastering the art of being a high-value man, you must see through these games. Think about this for a moment. When you look back at your past relationships, how often did actions align with words? How often were you left wondering why things didn't match up? A stoic man doesn't get swept up in emotions or flattery. Instead, he analyzes situations with reason and calmness, understanding that real value comes from consistency in action, not just grand declarations. In fact, Epictetus said, First, say to yourself what you would be, and then do what you have to do. It's a reminder to stay focused on your path, not to get derailed by promises or compliments that don't come with genuine action. Now let me ask you this. What would happen if you stopped reacting to words and started judging solely by actions? How would your relationships change if you adopted the stoic principle of only investing in what is real, tangible and proven? When you shift your focus this way, you become untouchable. You stop being the guy who's easily manipulated by sweet words, and you transform into the man who demands respect because he values himself enough not to fall for emotional games. And that's where the real power lies. The power of a high-value man who lives by the principles of Stoicism. So, next time you hear, I've never felt like this before, don't just get swept up in the moment. Step back, observe her actions, and see if they align with the words she's speaking. If they don't, you already know what to do.
You walk away with your head held high, knowing that you don't settle for empty words. You're not just another guy in the crowd. You are the man who commands respect through his actions, not the one who chases after it through hollow promises. So ask yourself today, are you going to let words define your worth? Or are you going to demand that her actions match her words? Deception 7 I'm just looking for something casual. This line is a red flag that many men, especially those who desire more than just fleeting connections, often overlook. It sounds harmless enough she's just being honest, right? But let's dig a little deeper. What she's really saying is that she's keeping her options open, and that means you're likely just one of those options. Men fall into this trap, hoping that by staying patient, being available, and proving their worth, she'll eventually come around. But here's the harsh truth. If she's not prioritizing you from the start, she's not going to magically change her mind down the line. Stoic life lessons teach us the value of discernment, knowing what is within our control and what is not. And her feelings, definitely not in your control. What is in your control is how you choose to respond. High-value men understand that their time and energy are precious. If a woman isn't meeting you where you're at emotionally, mentally, or in terms of commitment, it's essential to recognize that and move on. The ancient Stoics were masters of controlling their reactions, focusing only on what truly matters, and this is exactly what modern high-value men should do too. Women who use this line often enjoy the attention and emotional investment you provide without giving anything meaningful in return. They're not looking for depth, but rather for someone to fill the gaps until they find what or who they really want. In today's world, the dating landscape can be confusing and often riddled with false promises. A woman who says she's looking for something casual while keeping you close enough to feel valued but not committed is likely treating you as a safety net. Stoic life lessons remind us to be self-sufficient and never to rely on external validation. When you stop seeking approval from those who don't fully invest in you, you become untouchable. It's crucial to value your own time and emotional energy, just as a Stoic would be focused, calm and grounded in self-worth. Modern life often glorifies the chase, but Stoicism teaches us that we shouldn't waste our time on pursuits that don't align with our principles. If you're serious about finding a real partner, a woman who only offers you casual crumbs of attention doesn't deserve a seat at your table. High-value men know when to walk away, and that's what sets them apart. What is Stoicism if not the ability to detach from what doesn't serve your highest self? Walking away isn't about punishing her, it's about preserving your own integrity. You are responsible for creating a life that reflects your values and desires, and if someone isn't willing to meet you halfway, it's time to let go. By doing so, you free yourself to pursue relationships that are worthy of your time and emotional investment. Are you the kind of man who stands firm, no matter the test? If so, let me know by leaving a comment with the words, I am in control. This is your affirmation, a reminder that you are the master of your own mind and no external challenge can take that power from you. Deception 8. I need space. One of the biggest lies that women often tell in relationships is, I need space. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let me clarify. In some cases, asking for space is genuine. People go through tough times and they need room to breathe, to figure things out and handle their personal issues. But too often, this phrase becomes a slow death for the relationship. It's not about working things out. 
It's a subtle way of distancing herself without having to deal with the confrontation of saying it's over. It's like watching something fade slowly into the distance. One day, she says she needs space, and before you know it, she's gone. I've seen it happen repeatedly, and the warning signs are always there. If she keeps pulling away, constantly needing space, you need to stop and reassess what's really going on. Someone who truly values you and the connection you have won't need endless time apart. Sure, some moments apart can be healthy for any relationship, but when the space becomes a routine excuse, you have to consider if she's just avoiding the inevitable. Here's the truth. People who want to stay in your life will find a way to be close, no matter the challenges they're facing. They'll want to stay connected, even through the rough patches. Have you ever been in a situation where she says she needs space and you find yourself anxiously waiting, hoping she'll come back around, but deep down you know something's off? That anxiety gnawing at you is your gut telling you to face the reality of the situation. And here's where stoicism today can be your greatest ally. Accept what's happening without becoming a slave to your emotions. Think of modern life. How many people do you see constantly tethered to their phones, waiting for someone to text back or worrying about why someone hasn't reached out? It's the same principle. Are you going to live your life in anticipation, hoping for someone to come around? Or are you going to cultivate your own stoic happiness and move forward, regardless of what anyone else is doing? Life's too short to waste on people who don't prioritize you. High-value men know when it's time to stop chasing after empty promises and instead focus on their growth. So the next time you hear, I need space, ask yourself, is she truly overwhelmed and needs a breather, or is she subtly telling you she's checked out? You owe it to yourself to have relationships built on honesty and mutual respect, not on empty phrases that keep you hanging on. Remember, stoic happiness isn't about suppressing your emotions, but about understanding them, controlling your reactions, and moving forward with grace and dignity. Ask yourself, are you waiting for someone to give you the attention you deserve? Or are you ready to reclaim your power and build a life filled with people who truly value you? In the end, the biggest lesson here is to value yourself enough not to fall for excuses that keep you in a limbo. High-value men move with purpose and intention, and they don't wait around for someone who's unsure. The sooner you realize that, the sooner you'll be living with the freedom and confidence that true Stoicism brings. Deception 9. I'm different from other girls. Let me tell you something that will save you a lot of time and heartache. One of the biggest lies women often tell whether they realize it or not is, I'm different from other girls. You've probably heard this line before, and it might make you feel like you've stumbled upon someone who's unlike anyone else. But here's the harsh truth. This phrase is often used to create the illusion that you're dealing with someone special, someone who doesn't play the usual games. The reality is, everyone wants to feel unique and special, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but it becomes a problem when her actions don't align with her words. You see, actions always speak louder than words, and as a high-value man, you must keep a stoic mindset. You can't afford to get lost in the charm of words without paying attention to what's happening beneath the surface. You can tell the character of every man when you see how they deal with truth, as Seneca once said. That applies here too, to watch her actions, not just her words. Too many men fall for this trap, thinking they've met someone who's truly one of a kind, only to realize later that her behavior matches the same patterns they've seen before. Don't be fooled by the packaging, no matter how well it's wrapped. This isn't about being cynical, it's about being aware. 
If she's really different, she won't have to say it. It will be evident in how she treats you, in how she carries herself, and in how she respects your time, boundaries, and values. Ask yourself, is her behavior consistent with what she's saying? Is she walking the talk, or is she just trying to stand out by saying what you want to hear? Think about it. How often have you been told this before? And how many times did the actions behind those words live up to the promise? High-value men understand that real value isn't in what's said, it's in what's done. That's where the stoic mindset comes in. It's about not getting caught up in the emotional highs and lows and staying grounded in what's real and true. Remember, win stoic means you focus on reality, not fantasy. When you can see through the smoke screens and illusions that people try to project, you take back your power. And that's what being a high-value man is all about holding your ground, not getting swept up in the charm and staying true to yourself. Marcus Aurelius once said, Waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. Be one. That's the essence of what I'm telling you today. Don't waste your time arguing or hoping that someone is different when her actions show otherwise. Just be the high-value man you know you are. Keep your stoic mindset and you'll win every time. So the next time you hear that line, I'm different from other girls, pause and ask yourself, is she really? Or is it just another story to make you lower your guard? Deception 10 I'm not like other girls. Let's start with something eye-opening. I'm not like other girls. How many times have you heard that one before? It's designed to make her seem unique, as if she's somehow a rare gem in a sea of sameness. But the truth is, genuine uniqueness doesn't come with a disclaimer. It's like Marcus Aurelius once said, Waste no more time arguing about what a good person should be. Be one. In other words, true character is revealed through actions, not proclamations. If someone has to tell you how different they are, chances are they're trying to convince themselves just as much as they're trying to convince you. This statement is often a tool used to justify behaviors that might otherwise raise red flags, or it's a way to keep you intrigued, making you think she's playing by her own set of rules. But high-value men, those who follow stoic life lessons, know that what truly sets someone apart is consistency in how they handle life's challenges. Does she treat people with kindness when no one's watching? Does her word hold up when times get tough? Or does it all crumble under scrutiny? You see, in Stoicism, there's a deep-rooted belief that actions, not words, are the foundation of character. Epictetus put it best when he said, Don't explain your philosophy. Embody it. If her words and actions don't align, it's time to take a step back and re-evaluate. This is where the philosophy of Stoicism comes into play, encouraging you to remain calm, observe, and and make decisions based on reason, not fleeting emotions. In today's world, many fall for this deceptive tactic, mistaking the facade for authenticity. But when you peel back the layers, what you find may not be all that special. In fact, many women who use this line are just trying to keep you hooked, making you feel like you've found something rare, when in reality, it's just a diversion. And let's not get it twisted. There are plenty of women out there who are genuinely exceptional, who don't need to say they're different because their actions scream it louder than words ever could. This is why stoic life lessons are so important. It's not about becoming cynical or distrusting of women, but rather it's about sharpening your ability to see through the smoke and mirrors, to recognize what's truly valuable in a person. Think of it like this. Just as a calm sea reveals its depth, 
A person's true nature is revealed in how they navigate the storms of life. In modern life, where everyone seems to be vying for attention with grand gestures or bold statements, those who quietly lead with their actions stand out more than ever. You, as a man striving to be high value, must cultivate the discernment to recognize this. Don't be swayed by empty words or promises. Instead, focus on the actions, the patterns, and the consistency. A woman who truly values you won't need to tell you she's different. You'll see it in how she supports your goals, respects your time, and handles herself with grace when things don't go as planned. Remember, in Stoicism, the emphasis is on self-control and clear judgment. You can't afford to let someone's words cloud your vision. Stick to the facts, actions speak volumes, and a woman's true character is shown when she's under pressure, not when she's putting on a show to impress. So the next time you hear, I'm not like other girls, take a pause. Ask yourself, what have her actions shown you? If she's constantly reminding you how unique she is, it might be time to reconsider. Let the lessons of Stoicism guide you to be rational, be observant, and above all, be true to yourself. The reality is, you deserve someone whose actions prove they are aligned with your values. If it's all just talk, then it's time to walk away, holding your head high, knowing that you're living according to principles, not getting caught in someone else's game. If you find these insights helpful, don't hesitate to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's continue to explore the profound influence of Stoicism together.